All right, <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we're going to evaluate a definite integral by interpreting in uh, by interpreting it in terms of areas. Now, what I am going to use one of the properties of integration, um, which says I can take a constant out of the of the integral. Now, one half absolute value of one half x is the same thing as absolute value of one half times absolute value of x. And of course, absolute value of one half is just one half, and I can also bring that constant out. And um, it might be that I'm not really following the solution that the method of solution that the author had in mind, because I think I'm making it a little easier by doing that. But uh, it's because it's easier to sketch the graph of y equals absolute value of x than it is to sketch the graph of one half x absolute value. So anyway, I did that. I think it's okay. I mean, that's why I'm doing it. Um, so let me go ahead and see if I can sketch this absolute value graph, which we all should know looks like a V. And not only that, the, the, the slope of those two lines are equal to uh, one for when x is greater than zero, so that I have y equals x, and negative one when x is less than zero. So there's various ways to prove that this is in fact a graph. Maybe I'll just extend this to make it look better, but I'm really only integrating from three on one side and then negative four on the other side. And then what I do is I, uh, you know, I, I find the area of those regions and it's because I'm interpreting in terms of area. Now, these curves, or the curve from negative four to three lies above the x-axis so that in fact the integral is equal to the area. And now that I've shown it this way, I mean, I, I, I sketched the graph, I can see that the area is going to be base times height divided by 2 because it's a triangle. And so that apparently is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. And then for this one on the other over here, I'll have 3 divided by, or 3 times 3 divided by 2, which is 9 halves. So that I have as my answer 1 half times this area, which is 8 plus 9 halves which is the same thing as one half, let me get a common denominator, 16 halves plus nine halves. So that's one half times 25 halves. So apparently that's 25 over four. All right, so again, the integral is equal to area when the curve lies above the x-axis. If the curve lies below the x-axis, then the integral is equal to negative of the area. So I guess that does it. Let me uh, make sure I, this is clear that this is y equals absolute value of x, this graph. If, if I were to sketch the graph of um, absolute value one half x, it would look very similar. The, the lines though that I would draw would be y equals one half x, y equals negative one half, half x. It's totally doable. I could have done that, but I didn't. I did it this other way. Okay, so that's all.